Today we're going to look at a Klein bottle. Now a Klein bottle is a non-orientable manifold. So what does that mean? Well it's a bit like it's a bit like a Möbius strip. Möbius strips are quite easy to make. You take a strip of paper, uh, for example, and you get confused about your left and your right, and you bend it round, and instead of making an ordinary loop like that, you twist it in the process, just like that. And then you get something, uh, you get a piece of sellotape, you stick it together, and you get something that has this interesting twist in it, which means that that there's only one, this piece of paper, this strip, now only has one side. If you tried to colour this whole thing in, you'd go all the way around, and you'd go all the way around, and you'd discover that you had coloured in both, as it were, sides, because there is, in fact, only one side of this thing. So you can draw a continuous line all the way around, and you'll get back to right where you started, and you'll have covered both sides of the paper. Now, um, a Merbius strip has an edge here, but a Klein bottle has no edge. And so the way you make a Klein bottle, one way of thinking about it, is that you can take you can take a square like this and you can join you can join to make a Möbius strip, you join the two edges in opposite directions. So you insert this twist as it goes around. To make a, a Klein bottle what you do is you join the two sides in the same direction so you've got a cylinder. But then you join these two sides in the opposite direction. So what you have to do is you have to make yourself a cylinder and then kind of bend the ends around, not join them like that. If you just joined them end to end like that, you'd get a donut, that is a torus. But what you want to do is join them the opposite way around. So this is quite hard with a piece of paper because you sort of have to go through the piece of paper and join them up like that. Um, now, the Klein bottle can't be embedded in three space because it has to go through itself. But you can make it out of pipe cleaners. So here's a Klein bottle made out of pipe cleaners. And you can see that it started as a cylinder. If you unbent this, then it would be a cylinder. And this bit has come and bent around this way. It's kind of gone through itself and then reattached at the top. Um, rather than attaching like that to make a torus, it's attached this way around. Um, now, I haven't a it hasn't actually gone through itself. If you have a look closely, because because the, the pipe cleaner surface has these woven squares in it, it's just gone through a woven square, so it isn't really going through itself. Um, and you can see that after it's gone through, it really does go up through the middle and end up up there. So what's the point of this? Well, if you tried to paint this, if you tried to paint one side of this, you would discover that you actually painted both sides of it, because you would start you'd start painting here, you'd paint all the way over here, you'd paint all the way over here, and then you'd find yourself here, and you'd go inside. Look, here's the inside. You would paint down, and then you'd finally find that you were on the inside, and that you'd find yourself painting the other side, as it were, of what you'd already painted, and then you'd come back up, up the sides here, and you'd get to the top, and then you'd go down the this side, of the bit that's inside, and then you'd find yourself back here again. So that's a little bit curious, which means that it's not orientable, because if you tried to put an orientation on it, you'd take your pair of um, arrows that would be pointing in some direction to give you an orientation, and as you moved around, you would, when you got back to where you started, you'd find that you'd change direction, just like you do on a Mervis strip. So it's another thing you can think about here is that if you if you cut this up, so. I'm just going to cut my Klein bottle up now. No, I'm just joking. I'm not going to cut, cut it up at all. Um, if you cut around here, then you could remove this part and you'd get a cylinder again. So if you cut this circle, you'd get a cylinder. But if you look at this diagram, you ought to be able to cut down here and get um, a Möbius band back again. So how would you do that? Well, if this is the cut you make to get a cylinder, then you want to take a cut that's kind of perpendicular to it. So what you want to do is, if you see, you could follow one pipe cleaner around, one of the sort of vertical pipe cleaners around, and you'd actually end up going around twice. So that one goes up there, let's see, comes down here, it goes up there, and now it comes down here, and goes up here, and then it meets this one again. So you'd sort of go around it twice, and then when you cut it open, you would find that you had a Möbius strip back again. Um, so there it is. If you if you turn it this way up, you you find it looks a bit like a, a 
swan's neck somehow, you uh, you can also wear it as a hat. Uh, well, anyway, there it is. Let's just 